I got asked yesterday why I don't give advice as it pertains to mutual funds and stocks. And I'm pretty confident the person who asked me the question regretted asking it about 10 seconds into my rant. There are a number of reasons. The first reason is every stock at one point in history was a great stock. Remember Nortel, WorldCom, Enron? The list goes on and on. And probably throughout time, there's been more bad stocks than there were good ones. The original stock exchange was invented in 1773 in London, and it was invented as a way for companies to raise capital for their expansion. They basically went out in the communities, asked for money with the hope, promise, that the investors would get their money back at a handsome return. The stock market was never invented for the average user. It was invented for people who had the money to risk. 1773. Now, let's look at 2013. Many centuries have gone by, yet everyone is involved in the stock market today. And if you're not involved directly in the stock market, you're involved when you buy mutual funds within your portfolio. There is no guarantee. Mutual fund managers get paid quite handsomely to sit behind a desk and try and get the best collection of mutual funds in or best collection of stocks inside their portfolios to be able to produce a return. But the reality is is roughly about 1% of mutual fund managers in North America actually beat the benchmarks on an annual basis. But what bothers me most in Ontario, in order to give investment advice or sell mutual funds, you need to have a mutual fund license. There's no problem with that. I think that's great. My problem arises that that mutual fund license needs to be registered with the Ontario Securities Commission. Again, no problem. It's great to have a governing body. But you cannot have a license in Ontario to promote mutual funds unless you have a sponsor unless that license is actually the property of a bigger company. So you cannot provide objective investment advice because at the end of the day, you have a large company with a large compliance department looking over your shoulder. So not only is the stock market never meant for the average user, but you also have to question whether the advice you're actually being given is objective or not.